Ah, wait, how's everyone getting those cute little emojis in their budget? My name's Hannah, stick around to find out. You can add emojis in YNAB anywhere you can add text. Categories, category groups, account names, budget names, or category notes. And the good news, it's actually not rocket science. Just as simple as knowing a few keyboard strokes. Here's a step-by-step -step of how to add emojis to your budget no matter what device you're using. For those on iOS, Android, or a tablet, pull up your YNAB app and go into edit mode by clicking the pencil icon at the top. Tap into the text box of any area you're wanting to add an emoji to and simply tap the smiley face or emoji symbol on the keyboard to pull up the emoji keyboard. For those using YNAB on a Mac computer, log in to YNAB.com and place your cursor wherever you'd like to add an emoji. Briefly hold down Control Command Space from left to right to pull up your emoji keyboard. For those using YNAB on a PC computer, log into YNAB.com and place your cursor wherever you'd like to add an emoji. Briefly hold down the Windows key and period key from left to right to pull up your emoji keyboard. If this doesn't work, try holding down the Windows key and semicolon. And if your Windows computer is Windows 7 or older, make sure to update your control panel to add an emoji keyboard to your system. For Chromebook users, place your cursor anywhere in YNAB that you can insert text. Right click or two finger tap on a touchpad to bring up the pop-up menu. Select add emoji and add away. The main reason someone might want to add emojis to their budget is simply to bring a little pizzazz and energy to the budget. A little house for your mortgage category, Fluffy and Donovan for your pets category, or a roller coaster on your date night. It makes sense. But many YNABbers use emojis strategically within their budget too. Consider adding a green stoplight to categories you can freely borrow money from, a yellow stoplight to categories you'd let yourself borrow money from in a true pinch, and a red stoplight to categories you never want to borrow money from, like bills. If you and your partner divide up who pays for what expenses, designate which categories they're responsible for with a unique to them emoji, and mark the categories you're responsible for with your own favorite emoji. This can also be a helpful way to distinguish their banking accounts from your banking accounts with a quick glance, or maybe just to tell your cash accounts apart from your credit accounts. And hey, if you're a person with tons of budgets, it makes it way easier to make sure you're picking the right one. So emoji away, they might be more useful than you think. Enjoy and thanks for watching.